Welcome to Alan Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Alan Berry Labucan from AlanBerryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new installment of our In the News segment uh, where we'll be talking about uh, some resource companies with recent uh, developments. Um, before we get started, we always like to begin with our uh, thank yous. Um, we use uh, YouTube.com and Ustream.tv. Uh, you'll find the links uh, above me there on the on our on our website um, to di broadcast and produce these shows, and uh, so you can watch them at your convenience. And they're great websites for anybody interested in doing online shows. So we highly recommend them. Also, if uh, you're watching the show on our website, uh, you'll notice to the left and right of me that there's um, uh, banners on our website. Those banner sponsors are uh, very important in us being able to do these shows. And so um, if you want to do any homework on those companies, just click on their banners. That'll take you to their websites where you can uh, do your homework on those companies. Uh, and of course, to you, the viewers, if you didn't t tune in to watch the shows, we wouldn't have a reason to do this show. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Um, to, before we get started on today's show, I was uh, we had planned on last Friday doing a, um, um, a, uh, a, a week in review show. I got a last minute call to do an interview on uh, Business News Network, uh, BNN.ca. Um, if you're interested, in, so I had to cancel that show. Um, we'll do a, in, a week in review at the end of this week. Um, if you're interested in watching that show and you're watching this show on our, uh, on our website, if you look just below me on the video player, um, you'll notice that there's a, um, uh, a link to that uh, uh, BNN uh, interview and you just click on that and it'll take you right to the, uh, the clip uh, and you can watch our, um, our, our, uh, that show uh, or that interview, sorry. Um, on today's show, we have uh, two resource companies to talk about. They're both involved with gold. Uh, they both had a couple news releases out since the last time we talked about them, so we'll get right to it. Uh, the first company we're going to talk about today is Osisco Mining Corp. On the uh, disclosure, we are shareholders of the company. Um, our past coverage, um, they're a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports uh, email newsletter. Uh, we started coverage of them on the uh, December 18th, 2008. That was the uh, 21st edition. Uh, um, and if you look above me, uh, you'll notice a report section. Just click on that and you can find that uh, that report. We also covered them on our Ustream uh, channel. Again, the link's up there. On July the 20th and August the 18th of this year. On our YouTube channel, we talked about them on April the 15th as well, and also on September the 22nd. And that YouTube uh, link is up above me as well. That'll take you to the channels where you can find those shows. Their website is osisko.com. Um, we've got, uh, they had, uh, since the last time we talked about them on one of the shows, they've had a couple news releases out we're going to talk about. Uh, the first one is on November the 5th. The headline from that uh, news release is Osisco releases third quarter results, uh, 2010 results, of course. Um, there's quite a bit of details about uh, the work that they're doing, but I'm just going to go over some of the highlights that they talked about uh, in that press release. They have mentioned continued continuous project on the construction progress on the construction of the Canadian Malartic project with outlays of 134 million, uh, completion of the acquisition of Brett Resources and the Hammond Reef project, uh, continuation of aggressive exploration and infill drilling. Uh, with 107,000 meters drilled in the quarter and 312,000 meters year to date. Uh, net loss of 11 million for the period. Uh, completion of a, a $17.2 million flow through financing. There's a lot of details in that press release. I'm not going to go over all of them. They always have a good quote, to, or usually have a good quote in there from uh, key management. Uh, again, you can find that press release on their website. I liked uh, some of the highlights. The things that I'm seeing is the main thing is that the uh, the, the um, 
construction of the Canadian Malartic project is going ahead quite nicely and uh, we're looking forward to them turning into a mining company in the not too distant future. Um, sorry about that, just got to uh, quickly uh, turn off my ringer there, sorry about that. So um, then the next news that they had out was on uh, November the 2nd and in that one they had a batch of uh, drill results from their um, uh, project that they're a joint venture with uh, Clifton Star on. Uh, they call that's their uh, De Parquet project. Um, some of the highlights from there, uh, they had a 49.3 meter intersection averaging 2.05 grams per ton gold. They had a 70.5 70 meter intersection averaging 1.94 grams per ton gold. Um, so they had a really good uh, set of results there and um, uh, they, later in the they, they got plenty of details about that drilling so again that's another one to look for uh, on their uh, on their uh, on their website so some of the reasons that we like um, uh, Osisco is they're moving towards becoming a uh, gold producing company uh, with the development of their Canadian Malarctic project um, they're well uh, well move, well towards uh, starting production and uh, I think it's in the uh, 2011 sometime again check that uh, on their website um, they've got a great pipeline of projects from exploration through to uh, what's going to become a new mine and uh, they're very well financed so they can they're going to be generating a lot of news in the coming months and we we'd like to see a lot of news flow um, so they've got a uh, again uh, becoming a miner great projects uh, uh, focused in Quebec on gold. Those are all things we really like to see. And uh, again, uh, if you want to do your homework on the company, as we always recommend you do, a uh, uh, great place to start that is on their website at osisco.com. And uh, I think if you do your homework on the company, you'll understand why we like this company so much. So the next company we're going to talk about today is uh, Rubicon Minerals. And uh, on the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Uh, the past coverage includes they're a featured company in the Allen Berry Reports email newsletter. We started coverage of them on September 28th, uh, 2008, which was our 19th edition. Uh, they've been on our Ustream channel. We talked about them on the July 27th and September 2nd shows. And then on our YouTube channel, you would look for the October 28th show. Um, their website is R-U-B-I-C-O-N-M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S.com. Since we last talked about them on October 28th, they've had a couple news releases out that we want to talk about. The first one is their November 2nd uh, news release, and in that the uh, headline is Rubicon pre to prepare initial 43101 resource estimate for the F2 gold system. Um, this is a really important uh, move forward in that they are now going to start to get an idea of how much gold is contained in this uh, very high quality project on their F2 uh, uh, gold system. There's a quote in the uh, press release from David Adamson who's the president and CEO of Rainy River who stated and I quote, since discovering the F2 gold system in 2008, our approach has been to aggressively explore in order to test what we believe to be a large gold mineralizing system. This initial resource will allow us to evaluate the success of that program in the areas where sufficient drilling has been carried out and also to assess further gold potential of other parts of the F2 gold system. Our underground development is advancing on schedule and our first crosscut is in project guided by ongoing delineation drilling end quote so they got a uh, they got some good details in there about the uh the the up resource estimate that they're working on we like to see that and uh again you can find that on their uh, that news on their website then on november 17th they had a uh, a, a news release out and the headline from that is rubicon Minerals announces an initial delineation drill results from the F2 core zone within the F2 gold system, Red Lake, Ontario. 
the the sub headlines in, includes 16.59 ounces per ton gold over 8.2 feet in newly identified northeast trending subzone. Uh, then they said also cross cuts expose F2 gold system and separate northwest hanging wall. So then they had a, a bunch of details including the uh, assay results uh, for these various different drill holes. Um, you know I'm not going to go into them. There, there's a lot of drill holes there and uh, you know they consistently hit uh, the kind of uh, results that you're looking for and have been found in the past. Uh, mines that have been found in Red Lake, Ontario, uh, very high grade, and uh, uh, they've hit them on a lot of holes. And so you can find that in the uh, assay table. Uh, they also have a, a map in there that shows you uh, where they've drilled along the trend that they're working on. So that's good information. They have a cross section that um, uh, you can get an idea of what's going on with their underground workings and how they're drilling off of those underground stations. Um, and there's a few actually really good maps in there on that. And so um, they got some really good details also in the uh, exploration efforts and, and what they're working on there. So uh, again, that press release can be found on their website. Um, some of the reasons that we like the company, um, in fact, uh, they were one of the companies, whenever I go on BNN to do a show, uh, they often ask me for some picks. Uh, on that show just this past Friday, I talked about Rubicon. Some of the key reasons that I like Rubicon so much is that one, they're in Red Lake, Ontario, which is one of the best uh, gold camps in the world for high grade gold. They've done a lot of drilling, hit a lot of high grade in their drilling. Um, they're well financed. Uh, uh, it's in Red Lake, which is a mining friendly jurisdiction. They're doing a lot of underground working, which will put them in a position to continuously be drilling as we move forward. And now they're also working on this uh, resource calculation so they can start to get some estimates of how many, um, how much gold is in that uh, F2 gold system. And so they're, they're doing a lot of really good work. Uh, they have a lot of work to do, so they're going to have a lot of uh, news to talk about in the coming months. So, um, you know, that in a nutshell is some of the main reasons why we like Rubicon so much. And so uh, if you want to do your homework to sort of figure out why we like the company so much, we always recommend you take a look at their website. The one that I mentioned earlier, RubiconMinerals.com. That's a great place for you to go and uh, uh, start your homework on the company if you're not already sort of following them. Uh, we've been following them since 2008, so I'm sure some of our uh, viewers and readers of our reports are following them as well. Um, so that's a wrap on our In the News uh, segment today. Uh, before closing, we'd like to stress this show and our reports are for information purposes only. We aren't making buying or selling recommendations. It's important for you to do your own uh, homework and research uh, on uh, the companies and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. Um, we're always trying to grow our audience and any efforts you make to help us with that, uh, to let your friends that follow the markets know about our website and our reports and our shows. Uh, we really appreciate that. We also really appreciate you taking the time uh, to watch the shows. We are well aware that uh, everybody is busy these days and um, uh, we strive to produce a show that saves you time and brings you helpful high quality information. Um, our next show we're looking at is uh, in the news uh, tomorrow. Uh, then we'll probably not have a show on uh, the US uh, Thanksgiving. Up here in Canada we don't, uh, we've already had our Thanksgiving uh, celebration uh, but uh, we'll probably Probably do a show tomorrow and then one on Friday a week in review. The best way to find out about our shows and keep aware of when we put them out uh, is to be a subscriber to our um, to our email list. Uh, the I think it, the button's up there. You just fill out the information and we send out notes, when, uh, emails whenever we're uh, doing a show or doing a public uh, speaking engagement like we did recently on BNN. And uh, again, you can also find a lot of our information about our past shows below me on the uh, video player. So uh, subscribing is a great way to keep up to what we're doing. 
I uh, hope you join us for our next show. All of our information can be found on our website at alanbarryreports.com. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.